Hi, so this video is a little bit different than the videos that I usually make. I'm still going to talk about psychology, but in this video I would like to share with you something I did recently which I'm quite proud of and I think can be very interesting to share, which was the complete renovation of my very first car, which turned this year 30 years old. And then I took that car on a kind of a celebration uh, trip, road trip, from Portugal to Sweden and it actually did not complain. It all went super well. So that's what I would like to talk about in today's video. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Anna. I'm a clinical and counseling psychologist specialized in cognitive behavioral therapy and i am all about life changes and creating the changes that you need in order to live the life that you love and that you dream for yourself i'm all about making dreams come true and that starts also with my life i want to apply that which i uh, preach so to say <laughs> So this was one of those things that one of those ideas that came to my mind when I was feeling quite stagnant that I didn't really know what to do and it's actually connected also with something that I'm going to be doing in the future that I will be sharing in a later video but starting here uh, the idea to renovate this car was really based on three main things that I would like to talk about today. So the first thing is that there's really a lot of pleasure into giving love to something, even if it's something material, even if it's something that it's not a human being or an animal. There's a lot of pleasure into the practice of that care. And this is not really a materialistic kind of thing or kind of thinking because that's really a basic concept in in this transformation into a more sustainable world because we live in a completely disposable kind of world these days if something is not working you just throw it away you buy something new and it's really important that we kind of stop ourselves and we stop this kind of mentality into caring for the things that we have and not just purchasing something new every time it's really important that we care for the things that we have and that we try to give them the longest use possible. If we think about the purchase of an electrical car, that would actually take so many more resources than you know doing so something like this and like renovating an old car. It takes so much less resources from Mother Earth. So that's it's a really sustainable idea to give love to the things that are serving you and they will give you love back. And so this was one of the main points why me and my family we decided to kind of like renovate this this car it was pretty much abandoned and it was really amazing to see how much one can transform something that is completely seen as you know ready to throw in the in the in the dumpster and and really see it coming back to life in a beautiful beautiful way and it's, it's, it's a lot of there's a lot of pride into seeing something that uh, you brought to life despite its old age you know that you can make it shine again it's a lot it's really a lovely feeling to to do that There was a lot of things that I didn't know how to do and I didn't know that could be done and I learned them and I applied them and, and now I feel like I've learned so much and I feel like you know every time I learn something I feel like I'm a, I become a little bit richer. So this was a really rich experience when it comes to learning new things and, and applying that knowledge and seeing the results and also learning from mistakes but the whole experience of like diving into a project even if you don't know much about it but to kind of go into the process of learning about it and, and practicing it it's really really re rewarding and it really gives you this feeling of like that you're being really creative with your life and that's a really really positive emotion to have and to cultivate People often say that you need to dream big to achieve big 
And yes, that is true. But it can be overwhelming to think about doing something which feels too big or too hard or involving too much time. But when we focus on the small steps that need to be taken to achieve the transformation that we want to see happening, then everything suddenly seems much more achievable. And this was really an incredible thing to kind of like start from that point where the car was pretty much like in an abandoned state to having it really shining bright, ready to go, and then taking it to this massive trip across Europe from Portugal to Sweden for, uh, it was about eight days and uh, it was about 3,000 and a half kilometers. And it was really like, wow, you know, this, what a journey. So this was the point with this video, to really share that caring for stuff and giving love to stuff isn't really a materialistic kind of mindset, but instead it is this practice of care and it is this practice of cherishing what you have and when you have this kind of mindset you really are caring also for the earth and hopefully you will also have that kind of care reflect it back at you so you don't kind of lose yourself in the process and just care for the materialistic things for the material things that you have around you but also that you start caring for yourself as well that you understand the value of applying love then not just for the things around you but also towards yourself so whether that is the old car you have in your garage or if that's like an old furniture or maybe even some old clothes you have, I really encourage you to choose something to apply love to, to renovate, to, do, to transform, to bring back to life. And you know, you can do that today already. You can choose something that you're gonna apply your attention to. And if you do that, I would love to know about the progress and how you felt with the whole journey uh, in the comments or just send me an email or something. I would love to hear about how the process went and how you felt about it. And if you want to know more about the trip, you can visit the blog. I'll leave the link uh, for you to, to, to visit the blog. I will be writing more about how it was to go through all the borders in Europe while we are still in a pandemic, how it was to do all those kilometers, the cities we visited and, and um, yeah, how it went. So if you're curious about the trip, I um, made a blog post for it. You can visit the link below and um, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you are inspired to make some positive changes and I'll see you next time. Join me in the next video where I'll be telling you all about what I came to do in Sweden. And I'd say it's even more exciting than a road trip across Europe. So subscribe if you haven't yet and don't miss that one. See you then!